At Emory University Hospital in Atlanta, volunteers are receiving the first injections for a potential vaccine against COVID-19, happening in near record time. Right now, we're trying to make sure that the vaccine is safe. Once we determine it's safe, we also assess if actually the body is able to mount the right immune response. Vaccines normally take 10 to 15 years to produce, but researchers think they could have a COVID-19 vaccine for widespread rollout in 12 to 18 months. Sonia Bell is married with three kids and works in Emory's infectious disease unit. She volunteered to be a test subject for the vaccine. From NIH to our Emory University faculty, to our staff, to our to our, the nurses who drew my blood today, I'm just surrounded by excellence and I am not worried. The Emory trial uses the genetic material from the virus to isolate one of its proteins. The body then uses that protein to stimulate an immune response. Worldwide, there are dozens of vaccine candidates with two clinical trials underway in the U.S., including the Emory trial. NBC's Richard Engel has been talking to researchers involved in the second trial. A doctor working on a vaccine told me what they don't know is, is this a vaccine that will constantly have to be updated as the virus changes and potentially mutates? Back at Emory, Dr. Rufael says she feels the urgency to find a vaccine, even from family. The pressure is on definitely from my parents where they ask me, so Nadine, did you do it today? Do you have a vaccine for us? Keep trying. The Emory volunteers are starting to receive their second round of vaccine injections this week. Because the study seems to be going well, researchers are now opening the study up to elderly participants as well. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.